Okay, so let's get into part three of my video series on my Godot pipeline. Uh, today we're going to take a look at doing some custom shaders that I've written in Godot and how we can attach those to objects here in Blender, as well as set a material that we've already instantiated. I did a video previously on how to do a basic terrain shader in Godot, so you can check that out if you'd like. I'm going to put the link below. Um, we're going to piggyback on that for, for this video because what I want to do is I want to show how easy it is to configure these things once you already have some shaders and materials set. So one thing we have to do for this terrain map here is we're actually going to change the material to be the blend map. I went over this in the previous video, um, so you can check that out if you like. But the purpose of this is to get the blend map into Godot when you import. And we've already brought in the textures, so we don't need those as a part of the GLTF file. So the first thing we do for any type of terrain is we need to set a collision on it. So if you click on your mesh, you come up to here to the add-on. And by the way, you can open the add-on by pressing the N key and it should be here under Godot pipeline. Of course, that is after you've installed it. So you can go back and check out my first video to see how you do all that. But once you have the add-on open, you select the mesh, we're gonna check collision and we're gonna look at tri mesh. So once that's selected, you press set collisions and there you go. So you'll have a tri mesh collision on this, on this mesh. I should say collisions are static body by default. So unless you check rigid body, then it'll always be static body. So the next thing we wanna do is we wanna set the shader for this mesh. So if you come down here to this little box down here, you'll see path type, it'll say script, change that to shader. Hop over to Godot, so find your project. And for me, my GD shader file is right here. So all you have to do is right click, copy path, or press control shift C, and then you can just paste it right here. And then click set path. So once you press that, you should see the shader is linked down below. So next we're gonna look at material zero, and this is just the first layer. Right now I only support three material slots. Um, I'll probably do an update just to add a whole bunch more here, but I haven't personally had a need for that. Uh, so we'll see what happens. So it's the same concept. You come over to Godot. We're gonna go to blend material two, copy path, paste it here, and then set path. So with those two steps done, we're basically done. We can go ahead and export this. So we'll go file, export, GLTF, and then hit the operator preset. I did a segment in my first video on this operator preset as well. So please go check that out. And then you just hit export. Okay, jumping over to the game engine side of things. If you come to your import file, you're gonna have this uh, GLTF file that we just exported from Blender. The only thing you need to do to actually kick this script on is you go to import, scroll down, and you'll see this import script section. Click the folder, and then for me, the location of the importer is under scripts, and it's GLTF importer. And then you press re-import. So once that's done, you just drag your GLTF into the scene. We're going to hit make local. And yeah, it's pretty much good to go right away. You can see this has picked up our custom shader. So if I open up the plane and we look at the surface material override, we can see it's applied that material that we wanted. And this is the blend material two that I linked. And then it's linking the custom shader. So you get all of the parameters and everything associated with that material. So it's a really quick way to set up materials uh, for those custom shaders. So let's just jump into the game and see what it looks like. So once we're in the game, we can see everything looks good. Our collision is good. Um, that texture is exactly as we designed it in the last video. So it looks exactly as it did. So this was a real short video, but I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you got something out of it. So thanks for watching.